Hi, today we're going to talk about how to graph ellipses. So I want to remind you that there are two formulas for ellipses depending on the direction in which the major axis goes. Because the major axis can be horizontal or it could be vertical. And then uh, the formula is one small difference here. The value of A, which by the way, re remember that A is always greater than B. It's a very important thing. So, uh, depending on where A is located, it's going to determine which way the major axis goes. So, when you do these problems, you always want to determine that first, because this will help you uh, graph it correctly. Let's take a look at the first problem. So, it's asking us to graph the ellipse, whose equation is x squared over 4 plus y squared over 1 equals 1. Then find the coordinates of its center and focus. So what we're going to do first is identify the center, because it's very easy to do. And in this case the center is simply 0, 0. You don't have x minus or x plus anything, the same thing with y. The value of... So we have two numbers here, 4 and 1. One of them is a squared, the other one is b squared. So we see here that if you square 2 you're going to get 4, if you square 1 you're going to get 1. Which means the value of a is 2 and the value of b is 1 and since since that's x since a squared is under the x squared that means we have a horizontally oriented major axis so how we're going to use these two numbers here well we're going to start with the center which is the origin, 0, 0, and then uh, we go horizontally with the value of 2 because that's A, so we're going to go 2 units this way and 2 units this way, and then B is the value that's related to the minor axis, so that's 1 unit up and 1 unit down, and then we carefully connect them as best as we can. I know it's not perfect, but that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so this one was pretty basic because you have um, the uh, the center at the origin. We do have one more thing to do: to find the focus. So for an ellipse, c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So the value of c squared is going to be 4 minus 1 so c is going to be the square root of 3 so we're gonna go square root of 3 to the left and to the right of the origin so then our foci which is plural for focus one of them is gonna be at 0 plus square root of 3, 0, which is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, square root of 3, 0. Let me fix that. Okay. And then the second focus will be at 0 minus square root of 3, 0, which is negative square root of 3, 0. So these are the foci, right here is the center, and right there is the graph. Let's take a look at the next problem. So our next ellipse has the equation x minus 2 squared over 9 plus x y plus 1 squared over 16. So we should notice that the value of 16 is greater than 9, so we probably have a squared here. So if we think that a it will be 4 and b will be 3, which is exactly what it is. Now since a squared, which is 16, is located under the y, then that means we're going to have a vertical major axis. Okay, and then um, 
the center here is going to be located at positive 2, negative 1. So we're going to start our graph by first plotting the center 2, negative 1. So the major axis is vertical, so the, we're going to go 4 units up and 4 units down. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 3 is the minor axis, so we're going to go 3 units to the left and to the right. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So these two points are called vertices. These two points are called covertices. And we are going to graph our ellipse. Okay. So uh, we do need to find our foci. The first thing we need to do is remember c squared equals a squared minus b squared. c squared equals 16 minus 9 which is 7. So c is going to equal the square root of 7. The square root of 7, of course, we can't do anything with that, so we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, but this tells us that since the major axis is vertical, we're going to go square root of 7 units above and below the vertex to get our foci. So the foci will be, one of them is going to be at 2, negative 1 plus square root of 7 which you are going to leave it like that. And the second one is going to be 2, negative 1 minus square root of 7, which we're going to leave like that. So here are the foci. Here is the center and the graph. Our third example. x plus 2 squared over 16 plus y plus 3 squared over 4 equals 1. So we can start by identifying the center, which is going to be at negative 2, negative 3. Um, similar to the other problem, 16 is bigger than 4, so 4 squared is 16, 2 squared is 4. So that means a is 4 and b is a squared goes under x, that means our major axis is horizontal. So we're going to go left and right with 4. We plot the center, negative 2, negative 3. 4 units to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm sorry, right, 4 units to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 units up, 2 units down, connect everything, and this is our ellipse here. So we still need to find the value of c, so c squared equals a squared minus b squared, c squared equals 16 minus 4, which is 12. So c is going to be plus or minus, well, technically we're only looking at the plus, 2 square root of 3. Plus or minus just simply indicates that we're going to go both left and right. I'm just going to leave it like that. You could do it either way. It's simply uh, an indication that you, you go left and right or up and down by adding and subtracting the value. Okay, so to get our foci, we're going to go left and right. So we're changing the x coordinate. It's going to be negative 2 plus 2 square root of 3, neg negative 3, negative 2 minus 2 square root of 3, negative 3. Here are the foci, here is the center, and the graph. So it is a very simple process, as long as you understand the 
geometry here and it's very easy to understand once you understand the visual aspect of everything and then you don't have to memorize the formulas as much okay and last example we're going to do this problem x minus 4 squared over 9 plus y minus 1 squared over 25 equals 1 again we'll start with the center the center is going to be at 4 1 4 and 1 uh, we can see our values of A and B. A is going to be 5 and B is going to be 3. A is located under Y so our major axis will be vertical. So plot the center and I'm we're going to go with 5 units vertical major axis, 5 units up, 5, 5 units down, and with 3 units to the left, 1, 2, 3, and the right. Now we connect that. Yeah, we just have to figure out the uh, coordinates of the foci. So we need to find the value of c. c squared equals a squared minus b squared. c squared equals 25 minus 9, which is 16. And a look at that. It's just wonderful because it's a perfect square. And it's going to be 4. So our foci, since we're going to have to go up and down, from the center, we're changing the y coordinate, is going to be 4, 1 minus 4, which is going to be 4, negative 3, and the second focus will be at 4, 1 plus 4, which will be 4, 5. Here are the foci, here's the center, and we have the graph. I hope this helps.